Today we're going to discuss the health benefits of a Mediterranean diet as we prepare some dishes that are well known to the region. But just before we do, I want to share with you some exciting research that helps support eating this way. Studies show that following a Mediterranean style of eating can reduce risk factors linked to your heart such as high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome by 30%. And if you're someone living with type 2 diabetes and heart disease, following this pattern of eating has been shown to reduce your risk of dying from cardiovascular causes by 50 to 70 percent. That's amazing. So what is the Mediterranean diet? The key principles of a Mediterranean diet include olive oil as the main source of cooking fat, plenty of vegetables, salad and fruits, legumes like chickpeas, lentils, beans, nuts and seeds, whole grains, fish more often, and less of meat, dairy, and poultry, and wine in moderation. So today we're going to make a few dishes to show you how to put all the principles of a Mediterranean diet together. So let's get started. One of the key principles of a Mediterranean diet is including plenty of vegetables, salads, and fruits. So today we're gonna to start off with a vegetable side dish, and David's gonna show us how to do it. To make this uh, green bean salad, uh, it's really so easy and you don't need many ingredients. And, um, that's all we really need. Perfect. So to start off, we're going to take the green beans. I've got uh, the water boiling over here, and I'm going to immerse the beans uh, in the boiling water. You need a few minutes here. Great, and sometimes people worry about boiling and losing nutrition when it comes to cooking, but the, the key is to not overcook your beans, right David? Absolutely. Yeah. We want to remove them when, as they say, Dante, almost cooked, mm -hmm. because they're actually going to cook a little bit after we've removed them from the pot and they're resting in the bowl and we, we want that wholesomeness. Right, so we're going to keep them a little firm. Beautiful. The beauty of this vegetable side dish is the color of the green because there we're getting powerful antioxidants and so these are naturally occurring components in food that protect us on the inside. That's also known as beta carotene. Oftentimes when we hear beta carotene people think the yellows and the oranges but it's also found in our green vegetables as well. So now that uh, the water, I believe, is boiling, we are going to immerse these beautiful fresh green beans into the pot. And um, as we mentioned, we really do not want to overcook the beans. So we're going to let them boil for a couple of minutes, tops, and uh, they'll be almost ready and we're going to remove them. So, I believe our beans are ready. A couple of minutes brought to the boil. And now I'm going to remove the beans, put them in this bowl, and uh, I mean, even just feeling them, they, they're still very firm. And look at that color, it's so vibrant. Uh, this is going to be a gorgeous salad. And as you can see, it's just so easy to make. So easy, so nutritious. I often tell my clients, you know, whenever you go to eat, aim to get some kind of color on your plate. So while the beans are resting over here, I'm going to make our salad dressing. Some extra virgin olive oil. So the extra virgin olive oil is a unsaturated fat. Oftentimes people know it as the healthy fat. And it's healthy fat for a number of different reasons. Look at the color, the color itself. It has those antioxidants I was talking about earlier. And it also has been shown to help lower the LDL cholesterol. That's the lousy cholesterol in the body. So Super. So we have the extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to put some red vinegar in here. Red wine vinegar. Just a dash. You don't want it to be too tart, too vinegary. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to sprinkle a beautiful Greek oregano. It's all about the spices, the herbs, yeah, the spices. Smell that. Oh, that's amazing. So you really can get flavor without relying on salt. Fresh garlic. We Can't cannot forget, that. forget the garlic. <laughs> <laughs> so just a handful 
um, two pinches, as I say. Mm -hmm. Or to taste. Some people really like garlic. Nothing wrong with adding more. Right? Stir it up. A absolutely. Um, especially if you come from Italy. They use I like a lot. garlic. <laughs> <laughs> they use lo lots of garlic. So there, the salad dressing is done. Perfect. All we're going to do now is drizzle this over the beans. Then we're going to put it in the fridge to chill. So just brought the uh, beans from the fridge. Should actually leave the beans in the fridge for a couple of hours because that way that salad dressing that we made, uh, the beans will really absorb some of those mm. flavors. Right, good but they're point. Not, yeah, so they're nice and chilled mm -hmm. now. And you could do the plating individually as I am right now um, because the cherry on top, if you want, for this beautiful fresh salad are these sliced almonds over here. And almonds are a great nut to include, but you, people don't just have to stick to almonds. It could be any variety of nut and seed. And in fact, there is some really great research where nuts have been included, not just almonds, but a mixture of nuts. It really has been shown to, as part of a healthy diet, to reverse prediabetes. So the moment you've been waiting for, because I know you've been smelling all these you know, the fresh garlic, the oregano, Mediterranean. Please enjoy. Oh, lovely. This looks fantastic. So remember, the Mediterranean diet is not just about the foods that are included, but it's also how and where we eat our food. So sitting down with people, enjoying the meal is also part of the Mediterranean style of eating. Bon appetit.